As long as you boil it well. Ah, that's a uh, well debatable in Because yeah, like in Bulacan, <laughs> for instance, there is no Tricky. no well, uh, clean uh, water source. Well, according to you, right you can boil. You should boil the water for drinking purposes three to five minutes. In hundred, you know the full boil, boil. talaga. Full yung boil. talagang good boil talaga. Kailangan talaga natin yun. But then again, it's a problem with solid areas. It does sewerage system, right. you know, everything is the there, right. Right. so you should be very careful. All right, you mentioned wild doctors, so just give us, um, let's go through that. Waterboard, Waterboard um, what, and then maybe talk about the symptoms and, and what should be done immediately, um, and, and let's just go through what? all the letters. Okay. A w most I of the, most of like hepatitis A, uh, like the flu-like symptoms, fever, muscle ache, head aches, and then eventually you will turn yellow. Okay, uh, cholera is really uh, diarrhea, mm -hmm. diffuse diarrhea. Uh, typhoid is again fever, headaches, muscle aches, abdominal aches, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, what else? Cholera, typhoid, um, what else? Enters. Hepatitis A, um, after gastroenteritis, uh, E. coli, it's you know, um, nos uh, vomiting and diarrhea also. Mm. So fever is uh, is a very import is an important um, uh, manifestation. Oh, yeah, if you have a relative that um, acquires this fever, like two to three days, you should bring them to the nearest doctor right away. Especially after having waited mm -hmm. in flood waters. Okay, and and um, as you mentioned, the the fact that, that it's in a congested area, evacuation centers are always congested. Mm. Um, these diseases thrive in those areas. Yes, in um, I, I can imagine. Foods. Because of the congested areas, uh, asthma, you know, might proliferate. Uh, <laughs> children, the, the kids, okay. Um, bacterial infections, skin infections, eczema, you no, know, dermatitis, fungal infections. I'm sure a lot of people are also getting injuries, wounds uh, from wading in yes. flooded areas, especially if there are broken bottles mm -hmm. around. Uh, uh, how significant They should are not cases? go to the floods. If you have a broken skin. You shouldn't go to the floods because okay. it might really uh, bring you to this leptospirosis. You know, because they love the leptospira loves to enter this broken skin. Tell us a bit more about leptospirosis. What are um, leptospirosis? Uh, if you have a family, if you have a history of uh, wading into floods, um, not only wading into floods. Okay, sometimes uh, this uh, yes. Okay. But um, with this uh, kind of data that we're getting, that a lot of the blood stress is getting higher, so you should take into consideration if you have a history of fever of two to three days, muscle, just like a flu, mm -hmm. you no? Know? And then you have a, uh, you, you notice that you're having a problem with urination, and then eventually abdominal pain, and then you turn yellow, okay? Go to the nearest hospital, not clinic, hospital right away. What about skin diseases? Uh, we saw a rise, a spike Hello, in uh, mm. Are there home remedies? <laughs> the home remedies, let me see. Because I heard that they're they using this uh, popular antiseptic uh, uh, brand. No? They, you know, Philippines are very resilient and very, uh, no, they, they will try everything just to have the cure for this. They can do that, but in my, in my clinical practice, uh, one of my derma uh, dermatologist friends, before they have this study, using uh, garlic oil plus petroleum jelly. Okay. They also have this um, vinegar soap. When you say vinegar soap, one part vinegar and uh, four parts of water. And then you're going to do your, your feet. My dad will say okay, 27, 30 minutes, kaya three times kaya a day. There is also the one fourth cup ah, chlorox <laughs> into one bathtub of water. Then you you, ah, you dip yourself with the fungus fung fung already up here. Okay. You can also this is information oh, doctor that's sige, being the, um, <laughs> talk to those in evacuation uh -oh. centers. I'm not sure. Hopefully. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if they um they they're giving this information to, to the evacu <laughs> evacuation centers. You can also yeah. use uh uh, tea tree oil and uh, peppermint oil in combination. Um, this is pretty contagious. The home remedies, it's home remedies again. This mm -hmm. is pretty contagious, uh, as they yes. call it. Uh, yes, the app, What should people bear in mind when someone in the yes. area or vicinity or household... If they notice that one of their uh, household friends has uh, at his food, 
don't ever try to walk there in bare in bare feet. Okay, uh, don't exchange uh, uh, slippers. Okay, yeah. don't ever ever try to use the nail catheter that, that this, pa this this patient used. Okay. If you, um, bathroom issues. Uh, does it linger in the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, yes. Okay. So you should. Uh, Always make uh, your bathroom clean. And dry. Okay. Yeah. Always keep your feet dry. You, if, if you want to use blow dryer, you can do it. Okay. So, doctor, that's another issue in evacuation centers. Oh. I don't think they have the luxury <laughs> of even electricity uh, or blow dryers. Or clean or clean. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, we want to clarify this because um, I don't know if it's an old wives' tale or just uh, something <laughs> something that's been passed around. But is it true that if you pee on someone um, who's got athlete's foot? that the that urine will actually <laughs> kill the germs